Working with Adobe Camera Raw and Adobe Bridge CS3 allows you to process one, two, or 200, and even more images very quickly and very easily. One thing you could do is, I'm going to double click on this first raw file and apply some creative changes. What I'm going to do is open up the exposure a little bit. And one thing I like doing with portrait files is click on the lens correction tab and use your lens vignetting to darken down those corners. It creates a nice romantic mood. And I can darken down the midpoint, make that a little tighter. You can always go back and readjust, increase the contrast a little bit, and really make that dress pop. That's beautiful. I'm going to hit Done. And then you'll notice in Bridge that you have this icon, meaning this file has been adjusted. And then suddenly you realize, oh, you want to apply that change to the next file. Well, that's very easy to do. Click on the image you've changed. And on the Mac, Control click on the PC, right mouse click and drag down to Copy Camera Raw Settings. Then click on the one image or the 10 images that you want to apply that change to, and choose Paste Camera Raw Settings. You can choose to use all of the settings, groups of settings by using the pull-down menu, or you can choose individual settings via the checkboxes. I'm going to click OK and watch the preview. It now also has that beautiful vignette and that little pop of contrast. And that's how easy it is to apply a setting from one file to another or to many files. In the production environment, you probably want to apply the same processing to many files at once. What you want to do is shift-click on all the files you want to work on, and then use Command or Control R to bring the files into Adobe Camera Raw. The first image has the blue highlight around it. That means it's the target image. I'm seeing it. That's the one I'm going to affect. If you want to affect all images, choose Select All. And then whichever change you make to the file, I just did a quick white balance. I click on my curve to increase that contrast a little bit. I'm going to use the drop-down menu, make that background pop, and the chairs really stand out. And what's beautiful is you can also choose a crop. In this case, I'm going to use 5 by 7 and get it to fit into the images. Now, what I always do when I do that, I go and check just to make sure that the crop's in just the right place for the subject. And then when I save all these images, they'll be cropped perfectly. So once again, I'm going to select all, apply the changes. And at the very end, you want to process these images out. I'm going to click on Save Images, and I'm going to call it Chairs and a serial number, and you can save it as DNG, JPEG, TIFF, or Photoshop. I'm recommending the TIFF file format because I want to take this into a page layout program and going to click Save. And Camera Raw is processing out all of these images. I can hit Done and actually get back to work processing other files. All in all, processing one file in Camera Raw is very easy. Processing dozens of files is just as convenient and efficient.